Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing a rolling obstacle course. Rolling is a great skill to practice with your child because it really works on those core muscles. It's good heavy work, deep pressure for your child, that calming, regulating input when they're really engaging those core muscles. And then also the stronger those core muscles are, the easier it will be for your child to do those seated tabletop tasks. So I'm going to walk you through what I've put together here. Um, I've got my OT dummy here. And then I put couch cushions, two stacked up, then one, and then just the floor to create kind of a makeshift ramp. Um, rolling down on an incline like this is going to be easier than rolling on a flat surface because gravity is helping you go down. Um, Another thing that you can do for a little bit of an extra challenge, I put a pillow underneath my yoga mat. So then the child has to roll up and over. Rolling up, you really have to engage those core muscles. So that is the hardest type of rolling you can do is up and incline. You'll notice that much like my crawling video, I incorporated lots of different textures into this rolling obstacle course. If your child um, is like me and has long sleeves and long pants on, the different textures aren't going to make too big of a difference. Um, so I also wanted to incorporate some different textures for the items that the child will be holding. So I've got a spiky ball and a soft stuffed animal that can help to provide some additional texture input while your child is doing their rolling activity. Um, if your child has difficulty kind of starting that rolling motion, what you can do is use their hips and their shoulders to start them off. Our bodies work so that whichever way our shoulders turn, the rest of our body tends to turn that way and the same for our hips as well. If you or I were to lay down on the ground and see if I roll, what goes first? Usually it's your shoulders or your hips. So I'm gonna show you how I would do that with my OT dummy here. I would just put my hands on the child's hips and roll them. And you can see from this dummy that once I start rolling the hips, the rest of the body rolls as well. You could also do it with the shoulders. Keep the arms tucked. Roll, roll, roll. It will be probably easier for your child to roll if they have their arms down at their sides like this because then they can push off with their arm to help them roll. If you're doing an activity where you want the child to hold an object above their head and then roll, they really have to use just those core muscles. They can't push off with their hands that way. If you do incorporate um, using an object that they can start Pick up the object, roll through the course, and then put it, I have a laundry hamper here. And then that way they will know if there are three things, I have to roll through the course three times, and then I am done. That I think is all I have to say about rolling. Give it a try at home and let me know what you all think. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. I would love to hear from you all. I miss seeing you at school.